point is they're they're <laughs> robots, they're reploids, they're really smart. And you know who else is smart? People who invest in crypto. Oh and my that, god. <laughs> and that is where <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ramblin' Reploids. My name is Coleman X, and as always, I am joined with my great buddy, Twitch from Reploid Revo. How is it going out there in TV land, or I guess the comment section? <laughs> hey, it's been a while since we've done one of these. It has, as you have said multiple times uh, during our, our pre-recording warm-up. That uh, it's been a been a hot minute. Mm -hmm. It's been been a very hot minute. Uh, we've had a lot of things happening between the two of us, and then there was there was Mega March happening. But uh, we haven't had like a traditional ramble in like a while. Um, you know, like so I'm I'm glad to be back on our on uh, Ramble Prime to you mm -hmm. know get back into the swing of things. Um, you told me what our topic is going to be for this episode, and I gotta say, before we even started, already the creative juices were sloshing around in my empty head, and uh, I, I have, I have a great, a great yarn to spin. So uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, <laughs> let us go ahead and tell us what the what the topic is? Okay. Well, um, today, <laughs> um, first of all, today's topic was uh, requested by the newest channel member, actually. Van Jackson. So, thank you, Van Jackson. Thank you very much, Van Jackson. This is a going to be a fun topic. I hope it, it's already making us laugh. So it is we are making us laugh. We are just going to come up with basically like a lame plot for a game. Like think think spinoffs and how, especially if they're made by another studio, they just kind of just trash up the plot but it's like it's cool there's fan service you know I'm, th I'm thinking um stranger of paradise right now like it's so it's so edgy and stuff but it's like no but it's final fantasy one so that that's that's like where my mind is and this dude over here has been laughing for like an hour before we started i, and I have i'm a, so an amazing i have a great plot that i can't wait to share with you it is it is Mega Man soccer proportions of absurd and i can't I'm, wait to share it with you i'm very excited well you know <laughs> what why don't you just get us started i'm ready okay it is the year 21 xx reploids are an advanced species of robot capable of human level free will and intelligence able to make, feel, and do all of those things that Dr. Light said, and the words that I'm getting mixed up in my head. It doesn't matter. The point is, they're, they're <laughs> robots, they're reploids, they're really smart. And you know who else is smart? People who invest in crypto. Oh and my that, god! <laughs> and that is where... And that is where our diabolical plot begins. Sigma, the most advanced reploid to date, has discovered the NFT market and has decided that he is going to harness the computational power of reploids across the world to mine for Bitcoin and purchase NFTs. Cut the episode here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we we've peaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's up I to was... X Zero and Axel to oh, locate all more. eight of Sigma's most valuable <laughs> NFTs and right-click them. So Thus are, are, destroying their value are, are all the, <laughs> and crashing are, the crypto market so that Sigma can no longer take over the world. 
Are all the uh, all the eight Mavericks are they like the same Maverick with slightly different designs and they're all yes. very, very poorly <laughs> They're all <laughs> poorly they are all variations of Spark Mandrill. <laughs> And or Soldier Stone Kong, whoever looks more bored. <laughs> bored Spark. <laughs> oh my bored god. Bored Spark Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you thought Extreme 1 was in the metaverse. No way. Oh no. Yeah, Extreme 1 is, is was going into the metaverse. They go into VR chat and have themselves a little romp. No, we're going even further beyond. This is, you know what? I've decided this is the plot for Mega Man Extreme 3. I love it. And it's going to release for Game Boy Advance in the year of our Lord, 2022. <laughs> oh, no, not Game Boy Advance. Excuse me, Game Boy Color. Well, I guess it could be an advanced title. Well, yeah, you know, like, the times are changing. Yeah, times are changing. You gotta keep it on modern hardware. <laughs> <laughs> oh my good gravy and so that is that is the plot of Mega Man Extreme 3 Sigma has is going around rounding up reploids from all around the world and he is harnessing the, the, the processing power and computational you know capabilities of all the reploids and reducing them all down to a crypto farm <laughs> Thus, jacking up the prices of Reploid processors and, and other parts on the market, making it impossible for anyone to build Reploids for legitimate purposes, and, and therefore ruining <laughs> the world economy, <laughs> and also driving up energy bills. This, I'm going to say it right now, this is what causes the energy crisis in Mega Man Zero. <laughs> They used up so many E-Crystals to power all those darn Reploids to, to mine that Bitcoin. And then, oh, man. just when you think that it's 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 the end, and you're, you think that, you know, you finally cornered Sigma, and you've stopped him from mining all the Bitcoin, he pulls on a rope, and it reveals a curtain, which then also reveals what's behind the curtain. Um, <laughs> that he has... That he has a, an extremely powerful battle body made up of <laughs> oh, no. uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, TX, <laughs> you know, 1080 eyes or whatever. I don't know what the latest model is, whatever it is. And instead of mining Bitcoin, he is now mining Bitcoin. <laughs> Can we get God Carvachino in Nari coin? Yes, that is the next logical step. That is God <laughs> God Car Machine or or Inari coin is like the is like the Doge coin of this universe. It's like a <laughs> it's like the meme Bitcoin. Excuse me, Zenny coin. Oh, excuse me, you're right, Zenny coin. My bad. <laughs> I just realized, is that how that how that works in Mega Man Battle Network? Where like um, they um. They get like money from like defeating like enemies. Is it like decrypting mm. like the bitcoins or something? And like that's how they're getting the Zenny digitally? Or is somebody just PayPaling them for destroying viruses? Little column A, little column B. That's yeah, I maybe. Think. I don't know. But this is it. That's the plot. Mega Man Extreme 3. Sigma begins mining Bitcoin using Reploid brains. And then he has eight of the same maverick with like someone hit like a random button on a character creator. <laughs> And like that's those are his mavericks, and they're all weak to the same thing. Right clicking and saving them. So I, I can I can imagine um, X in a in a get up like like typing of the dead. You know they have the Dreamcast strapped to their backs and mm -hmm. then a keyboard in front of them. Just he carries around yes. a mouse and a pad. Yes, exactly. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Precisely, that's how this works. His Buster connects directly to the mouse. <laughs> He has, like, a gigantic oversized mouse that, like, sticks onto the end of his buster barrel. Nice. And, um, oh, the, 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 more, the more capsules he gets, the more mouse-like he becomes. Yeah, it, it increases the DPI on his mouse so that, he can, <laughs> so that he can move it faster to save the NFTs. That's what he does. And then it's up to X to crash the market on crypto before Sigma takes over the world and decentralizes something. I don't know. <laughs> how all this crap works. Dr. Kane would be proud. Yeah, he would be. 
Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, and here's the plot twist. Uh oh. Axel buys into it at some point because he's <laughs> he gullible and foolish. He's like, NFTs, these sound like a great thing that is absolutely not a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> and then it's up to X and Zero as the more mature adults in the room to calmly pull Axel aside and explain to him how this is a scheme and how none of them have any monetary value that hasn't been art artificially inflated. <laughs> there. Oh, boy. Follow that one up, Colvin X. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't. I, I thought... I thought we were just gonna be like just a big crossover game where like Sigma and Wily team up because they're best friends and they twirl each other's mustaches <laughs> and drink daiquiris and then Vile shows up and he's like, What's up guys? But then he's like, I'm gonna be a good guy. Oh and my then, god, they they uh, totally could drink daiquiris on Crypto Island. Is this That's a crossover it. of our bad game ideas? <laughs> It could be. I mean, the Crypto Island is a real thing that they're apparently they're trying to do. They're trying to build to to buy an island using cryptocurrency and then turn it into like a cryptocurrency paradise or some crap. There's even like a promotional video for it. It's really cringe, but <laughs> whatever. Huh. Okay, okay, for real though. I, I <laughs> I'm sorry for for opening this episode with such a stupid idea. We can go into less stupid ideas if you'd like. <laughs> That's amazing, because by the time everyone has clicked off, they've already heard the best of the episode. <laughs> okay, if so you're we're still going to front-load this one. If you're still around, thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you're still around, we're giving you, or I'm giving you props just for sticking around, okay? Oh just uh, out of respect for, for sticking around. Now, I, th I know you said you wanted to keep this one short, and I think we're about halfway through our runtime, so I think I'll <laughs> shut up now, and I'll let you go ahead and take the reins on this one. <laughs> oh, man. I just... I, I'm going to need... I'm going to need some of that brilliance just bouncing off, because right. I, I, I do like the idea of just... Um, it's basically the episode Mega X, except mm -hmm. Sigma pops out, and he's like, What's up, human? I read my secret book! That only I know about that you were the baddest of bad guys, and I'm the baddest of bad guys now. We should be bad guys together. Maybe, you know, maybe hug. So, like, and a then, game adaptation of Mega X? Well, like, like that, except, like, as stupid as possible. You know, like, like, <laughs> z like, like, z zero, um, not the character, the number. Like, z zero <laughs> justification. You know, so it's, it's just it's like it, it's so it's it's like Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, but it's like Wily and Sigma. I don't know. I don't remember the plot to that movie. <laughs> well, they do end up at White Castle. That's what I remember. It's true. They no, they go to the Wily Castle. Mm -hmm. I like the. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I've missed this so much. <laughs> you sounded like you had a stroke. I missed that too. <laughs> the, the stroke? Yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but um okay. But, uh, Sigma they, and Wily team up. Uh -huh, I get yeah. it. Go, go please continue. I'm enthralled. Okay, they they team up and then and then you know, X goes chasing Sigma through time because of course he does. And then he's like He's like, Sigma, let that child alone. As <laughs> as they're um as they find Mega Man, they're like, oh, we're finally gonna, we're finally gonna get him. Like this is all the opening cutscene. Okay. And then you know X like just because because now he can just do like drop kicks, so he just comes <laughs> and like just drop kicks. Could he not Sig do drop Sigma kicks before? Wilder. I, I mean, he could, but he's never. Did he did. need like a, a like a capsule upgrade to perform a drop kick? Exactly. He's got he's got the. He always got to put on the toe attackers. There we go. Oh man, this is okay. Yeah, okay. It's got it's got to be about the the quest for the toe attackers. I, yes, I'm in. But uh, like, I I think it would just be really fun in a in a game like this if you just take <laughs> take everything out of what the characters would normally do. Because you see so many cro like crossover games and um, other stuff that aren't, aren't handled with as much care, and just mm -hmm. like this is the cool character, but they're gonna do this like like in this vial is gonna just be hanging out in the background, but then he's like I'm gonna join the good guys, not because I 
Not because I want to, but because I want to be the biggest bad guy. But really, I want to be a good guy. And he, like, winks at the camera even though he doesn't have an eye. <laughs> and it would be great. He has one eye, but you can't see the one that he's winking with. Oh, okay. It, well, it looks like he blinks, but, yeah. you know, it, 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 it has, like, subtitles <laughs> at the bottom. It says... He actually it's, winked. It says wink. Yeah, it says it says blinks instead of winks. Because <laughs> Vial only has one eye to begin with. Oh man. Him and uh, Waddle Doo should team up. They're Waddle one Doo. Eyes. Sorry, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a Kirby mode now. Shut up. Getting back I'm, to it. I guess that could be another thing too. So like you know. A crossover with another series. Yeah, a crossover with another series. So, like... So, okay, so we got Sigma and Wily, right? Uh-huh. And then we have, obviously, Mega Man and Mega Man X. And then, that's when we cross over with Kirby. And they're like, Hey, you're someone who copies enemies' powers. Let's combine our ability to copy powers. And then we'll yeah. copy powers the most. And then, and then it turns out... Like, Sigma and Wily are, are going after, like, Marks or something from Kirby. I don't know. They're trying to get someone, some some evil thing to destroy something. <laughs> well, everyone knows Monstropolis is on Popstar. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that's where that's where it's located. They, you see, the, the, the in the dimensional merge, as oh, seen no. in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite... <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, I thought and you were also talking possibly, about the real life, the real life dimensional merge. <laughs> possibly, yeah, as also seen in a, in a popular um, uh, traditional media comic book series published on the internet, um, <laughs> which may or may not be in its final run. Um, yeah, so there's a dimensional merge, and then so Sigma Wily, and then I don't know Meta Knight. He's not that bad though. Yeah, he's, I don't know, a, some, he's a neutral character. I, some I, evil let's let's thing. go with Marx. He, he's cool. Marx. Okay. Yeah. And then so then, um, Marx is the little jester guy, isn't he? Right. Yeah. 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 So then, what happens is Wily and Marx fuse, and then Wily has his hair that turns into like six jester hats. Yes. Something to that, and then. Sigma steals the halberd from Meta Knight, and <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. No, but he, just... put, he puts his head into the yes, halberd and yes, becomes the halberd. Yes, the front of the halberd that is Meta Knight's face <laughs> becomes Sigma's head, and you can only damage it with charge shots. I'm a ship now. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know where this is going, but besides straight into the ground, but I love it. I, I don't even <laughs> care. I just want to see a. I just want to see someone lift up a met helmet and then it's gooey under there. That would just make me happy. That would be hilarious if, it, if it's gooey. Like it's funny because like when you said gooey, I thought you were thinking like literally like there's just goop under there. But then I'm oh like, no! Oh, you mean gooey. gooey like the the random companion with the bad touch tongue? <laughs> yeah, that guy. Uh, I was gonna say, like, you could even have things where, like, like Kirby eats, like, a Met Tool, and then, boom, he gets, like, the Met Tool helmet. Now I'm just thinking about, like, a Kirby Mega Man crossover. Like, I actually kind of wish this was really happening, though. <laughs> the potential for power stealing is really off the charts. Uh-huh, this is, this did what what always happens, and it, it went from so stupid, and it, it like, uh, underflowed, and then became, like, It did, really it wrapped cool. all the way back around. This is crazy. Like, like, okay, so, like, at any given time, Kirby can, like, eat Zero and then, like, become, like, Zero Kirby or something. Or yeah. he can absorb Mega Man and then he can become, like, you know, X Kirby or Mega Man Kirby. I don't know how that would differentiate his powers, but you, you guys figure it out. Let, let's, let's bring it more, um, more Ruby Spears style. So then, like, Mega Man or X could just, like, defeat the enemy and, like, touch them, you know? Yes. And then that's how they get the power. I think that would be cool. I do like that. I think that would be a neat thing. Like, like X just puts, like, a, a dude in, a, in like, a chokehold because he's, like, a, a maverick hunter and he's trained oh in hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> but, like, that's what he does and he steals the power. And it has to do the cool-ass Ruby Spear saying where it's, like, yep. pew, 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 and it does it, like, three times and it, like, goes mm -hmm. into his head. It has to do it like that. Yeah. I mean, this Hands is just... Down. This is Planet Robobot, but more Mega Man-y. And I'm... 
Yes, plant up Robobot, and then he has right armors. <sighs> right oh, armors. <laughs> oh, we got to change the name of the episode because this is just this is just really cool stuff now. It is just becoming really cool. Damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what, was, what was your name? Uh, it was it was Van Jackson. Van Jackson. I'm sorry, Sedan Jackson, but we <laughs> we we messed up. We were supposed to make up really bad plots, and instead we came up with the coolest thing ever. Gosh, I mean, maybe the plot could happens. still be maybe the plot could still be stupid, but you know the what? plot could be stupid, but the game is awesome. The ga- yeah, <laughs> that's what matters. Man, this needs to happen. I don't even care what kind of what kind of hoops they have to jump through. I want it. It's I like want, my two, yeah. my two favorite franchises coming together. I would love that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh man, I hurt from laughing from earlier. Like it's I'm still, sorry that you're in pain. <laughs> this is the it's this is the good stuff. This is what this is what you need to wake up. Hurt so good. <laughs> that was so funny. Can we talk more about the about the the, the board mandrill? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was gonna say. So before the game comes to a close, right? When like you think everything's like over with, uh-huh. right? And this is for you, buddy. You hear one of those stupid I don't even know how to imitate it. Like the you, you hear Pac-Man from Pac-World 2 <laughs> and he hang glides in setting up for the sequel. <laughs> I don't he know just, what the, what the hell sound he makes, like the or whatever the hell. It's like, <laughs> and then and then it sets up for the sequel, which is never gonna happen. Oh man, you're making me want things. And then the post credit scene, you see like word muncher, number muncher, just like peek behind. Yes, like, the and back. then it becomes like a Mavis Bacon educational computer games crossover. I want all of these things. Math Blaster and Mega Man X together at last. <laughs> Truggle Troubles call the Maverick Hunters. <laughs> Solve for X. <laughs> yes! That's the name of the game, Solve for X. It has to be. <laughs> oh, that is good. That's really good. <sighs> oh my good golly. In this game... You don't divide by zero. That's impossible. You get divided by zero. <laughs> I'm, I got I got the taglines down pat. I think. Yeah. And uh, Capcom the, hire this man. <laughs> in the in the bad ending, zero blows himself in half. He's like, I guess I could be divided. Yeah, as he's flying, as his torso <laughs> is flying through the air, smoldering on fire. I guess I could be divided. <laughs> and, and then and then number muncher eats him because he's zero and he munched him. Eat the even numbers. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh my god. That's how it is. Are we uh, geniuses? I think we're geniuses. Like, like I said, we underflowed. We went from very stupid to genius. I genius think level. my IQ absolutely did underflow. I think we... <laughs> I think that's what happened. There's no other explanation. <laughs> I, for one, am very happy. Me too. This this is good. I like oh, this. Oh man. Um. Well, uh, welcome back to Ramblin' Reploids. We are gonna uh, just get back on the train because this is fun, and I hope you at home <laughs> had fun too. Because, good lord, did I not expect this? We, I we had did, fun. <laughs> we, we didn't discuss what was going to be happening, and I'm glad we didn't, because that was funny, and I'm sure it just kind of came off the cuff. This was all straight off the top of my very empty dome. Oh, man. That's the that's a dome worth keeping. Mm, absolutely. It has a nice ring to it when you knock on it. Oh, man. Um... Thank you for coming. Twitch, thank you for being here. It's always of course. always lovely. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you, uh, Van Jackson, for letting me make car puns about your name, um, even <laughs> though you didn't really have any say in the matter. Um, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, what is a good... Oh, I say good, but what is a good, crappy Mega Man story that you would like to tell? Leave it down in the comments. Uh, even if it's just a, a nonsensical crossover, 
let us know. I want to hear them. I want to see them. I want to feel them. I want to laugh with you. I want to cry with you. Let's know. And so bad it's good definitely counts. As, oh, yeah. As, like, as you've seen. <laughs> definitely. Ruby Spears Mega Man should be like a heavy inspiration for you, so. Yeah. Oh, man. We just need a, a Ruby Spears adaptation. <laughs> I don't, we just I don't need know. a. Yeah, I'm going to say, you know what? That should be an episode. Let's adapt Ruby Spears into a game. Ooh, yeah. And the best part is you only need two voice actors to get, like, 99% of everything. It's true. You can just get, like, Ian James Corlett and Scott McNeil, and, like, that's everyone. There you go. You're done. Yep. I like Alright, everybody. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I'm, uh, I'm excited about the future that probably won't happen, but I'm, it was It fun. won't be invented for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming. Good night, everyone. Oh my god, that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for hijacking the, the no, first half of the whole episode. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted. I, I I knew when you were laughing before we started, I was like, no, he's he's got something. Just let him go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yes, I am also going to stop my recording. Wha-bam! Hey, thanks for watching. As always, an extra special thanks to our channel members. Silby, Dano, Van Jackson, Sigma, Duckman, Dornor, Droopy, Sprinkwing, Masterman, Adachi, Aiden, and the rest of our supporters. This one really went off the rails, but I hope you had fun. Anyway, hope to see you next time. It's great to be back.